Right, now, in case you missed it, today is the second day of the second month in the year 2022. Yeah, 22222. <laughs> is that spooky? Uh, I know just the person to ask, celebrity astrologer and numerologist Jessica Adams, who's in Hobart. And um, Jessica, pleasure to speak to you. What is the significance of all of these twos? Well, it's about odd couples. So we're going back to the years 2000, 2002. We catch up with the odd couples in 2022 and we're looking at people that you think have absolutely nothing in common who it turns out really didn't so they got divorced or really odd couples who are still together oh so what does this mean for relationships today then <laughs> well if you're going on a first date it will be with somebody that your friends are really surprised that you're even dating even if it's just a zoom date and if you're in a marriage and you were an odd couple back in another two dominant year then just before valentine's day you're going to have one of those conversations <gasps> are you suggesting the, the oh I, I don't want to i don't want to know what you're <laughs> suggesting actually that's kind of a bit scary for all the odd couples out there <laughs> should people be worried <laughs> well let's focus on something else okay, yeah, should we should we buy a lottery ticket <laughs> i mean it's too a lucky number uh, if you are a two person, if your birthday adds up to two, I'm not sure about your birthday, but you add them up to a single digit and you get two, definitely buy a lottery ticket today. And maybe your other half buys one too. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, what else should we, which should we be wary of um, today? Uh, I, I, I always just thought two was a lucky number just straight out, but there's a lot of different nuances. Yeah, it's a funny one. It's good for anything with two in the title. So the last time that we had a two dominant year, we had a Star Wars 2 film and we had a Lord of the Rings 2 Towers film and they both did really well. But if you're in an odd couple, business partnership or political partnership or marriage and you've not given each other space to be odd together, mm. it's really crunch time. Oh, right. that's key, yeah, that isn't is it? Because yeah. it's the 11-11 I only ever look out for. Yeah. But now, now I'm going to have to look out for the 2 as so well. So you need the space yeah, that's to be it. You, yourself and to, be, to celebrate your... your on, I think we all need that team. now and again anyway, yeah, don't we? We do. Yeah. Uh, what about babies born today? Uh, these babies are really interesting. So their brother or sister already here, or the brother or sister to come, chalk and cheese couldn't be more different. So if you do have a baby who's arriving, especially if they arrive around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, then you're looking at a sibling relationship that is basically like the Gallagher brothers in Oasis or Kylie and Danny Minogue. Um, completely different people, related but different. <laughs> oh, and you, just quickly, you did you did uh, raise the election or politics there. What are you what, what are your predictions for the election? Watch Barnaby Joyce. I mean, we all watch Barnaby Joyce anyway, don't we? But he is the key to chaos between the coalition, the Liberal Party, and the Nationals. Um, starting now, going right through March and April, um, we're going to see one of those years in Australian politics when you wonder. How did they get into bed together? Mm, yeah. Speaking of odd, thank you very much, Jessica, for joining us. I really appreciated that chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank maybe, you. Maybe a second term. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Now, after